of professional wrestling in one way or another. We're all love it or have loved it in the past. Um, so my big question this week is very simple. If you were to take a person who had not watched professional wrestling in their life, but had, of course, the you know cultural awareness of it, how would you get them into professional wrestling? What would you show them? What would you tell them? Um, how would it go? Wow. Somebody said, okay. didn't you do this with a girlfriend a few years ago? Yes. How did that go? It went well. She watched wrestling with me for a long time. What? Well, I'm curious because you, I'll, okay, I'll, you did I'll the experiment. I'll, I mean, I'll answer. You have an answer before any of us because you've done this. Um, so. I the first match I ever showed her was uh, Undertaker Shawn Michaels won from WrestleMania, and mm. as time went on, is that that was enough to get a foot in the door and to watch um, Monday Night Raw. And you know, when they see somebody they enjoy, you encourage that. You encourage them to you know pick somebody to root for whether they win or not, and um, you know encourage them to laugh when it's bad and you know uh, cling to the parts that are good. Um, that's in my experience the most uh, most successful way and then you know after time you expose them to the other things to the other forms of wrestling the you know extreme hardcore wrestling and the the luchadors and the and the more technical aspects and things like that but um that's what worked for me nice i think i think uh, exposing okay. something that doesn't insult their intelligence is gonna is what works i, th I think a lot of people are innately interested in, in wrestling in some some respects. So I, I've talked to a lot of people like who said they, they used to watch it when they were a kid or something like that. They kind of a lot of it, mm -hmm. but because they're older, they feel as though that some aspects of wrestling assault their intelligence, and they're right, it does. So for somebody who doesn't watch it, I would try to find something that, like I said, doesn't assault their intelligence. And at, at WrestleMania match you mentioned was a good place to start because. I think that's my favorite WrestleMania match ever. And I think that's, I can show, you can show it to anybody. And, and they, if they can't find some entertainment value in that, there's something wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, I, I have my answer, and I fear that it's going to take the answer of a couple other people on this show. Uh, but uh, my answer would be Lucha Underground because mm. it is the closest thing to, it, it is like an episodic television show. It is like watching. In my opinion, it is like watching a Game of Thrones or a you know some a show similar to that. In the sense that you have characters that are uh, easy to follow, and and storytelling mixed in with really great wrestling. Uh, I think that good storytelling is what captivates people and and, and forces people to watch from watch more. Um, I don't think a lot of people will. I, there is a connotation, and I don't like saying it, but that you know. Wrestling's fake. Why would you watch dudes fake hit each other when you can watch real people hit each other? And if the reason is because of the story that they tell. Um, and I think that Lucha has the best chance of, of converting people for the fact that it is presented in a style much like a, a, a any other episodic television show. Uh, so it's something that people can get into weekly. Um, and I, I think it could open up opportunities for people to enjoy other stuff beyond that. Um, I, I think if you, you know, I, I think they have a better, people, casual people have a better chance of watching Lucha Underground Weekly than they would have watching Raw Weekly. Um, both because Raw's longer, but also because um, there, there's stuff on Raw that, you know, is something they may be interested in, but maybe there's aspects that they wouldn't be. Um, and, and this just tells a fuller narrative, I feel. It doesn't insult your intelligence. That's that's one thing. And that as well, yeah. You know, it doesn't make you feel like you're stupid for watching two uh, matadors run out there with a ninja <laughs> in the bull costume. You know, I I can't show my friends who don't watch wrestling that. I I feel embarrassed when they come on. It's like I can't show them this because it's like, what are you watching, dude? Like, what are you spending your time doing? It's like, why are you enjoying this? Yeah. Right. But but yeah, having something that rewards you from watching the first episode of the show and they bring up something that's on like episode 16 or whatever, right. you know, that's, 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 you know, something that people can get into. I feel. I would show my friends the shield though. That, that the, the whole <laughs> the shield, because I don't know anybody that couldn't like the shield because they were a badass group and they're three fresh faces. They're not, they're not triple H, they're not undertaker. They're not guys who, who they immediately see and say, how old is he? And how long has he been wrestling? You know, 
the three new guys who they, they haven't discovered yet, and then the whole act was just amazing for that with a year and a half, two years that they existed. So that's another thing I would I would throw in there as well. Definitely. Nice. Yeah, and I would temper that. I, I would watch it, you know, because I can think of people that don't like Robert Rodriguez films. And I think, you know, if people don't like that style. You'd want to kind of sidestep Lucha Underground. But it's definitely the best example of that. Like, don't you wish there were just more versions of that just for other genres, right? With different kind of tones to it. And maybe we'll see that as things go here. You know, we have a lot of companies that sounds like in the woodwork, are like trying to get TV deals, you know, like Global Force. I'm kind of wondering what that presentation is going to be with Global Force. Will they do anything different? I doubt.